So we're doing a shakedown run on this thing. We just put in dual transfer cases. Let's see if they explode. I have no idea if my front locker works. We stuck in the Z Automotive wiring for the aftermarket housing and we're just praying it works. I guess stay tuned and go wheel. Disconnecting the sway bars. Got Bill's Jeep here. It's a shakedown run. All right, just rolling up to the Pierce OHV turnoff. All right, put it in double low. There you go, put it in double low, so that's the, the front case. And just let it like idle down it. Are you in rear? Well, you put the rear in already, right? You got yeah. the, the yep. so we got the, the front case is in low, the rear case is in low. I'd say just let it idle. I just want to see how it all works, see how slow it goes. Cool. No noise so far. <laughs> part of the shakedown run is making sure double low functions <laughs> and just like I'd say just let it idle down this you could stay right or if you go left you just get kind of off camber tippy it's, it's easy either way but It's an easy spot. This whole trail is like easy, but I wanted to get his shit and double low on camera. And I want to make, it's not making any bad noises. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This is the first drive other than driving around Colfax and Grass Valley. So yeah, easy spot, but it does get off. It feels tippy when you go left, but it's not bad. I mean, easy spot. You could go right or left. Yeah, what do you think about the double low so far? Oh, it's awesome. It's crazy having that giant shifter. We gotta eventually redo the shifters, but the Atlas shifters on the 300 are great, and then that thing's just kind of a big old stick bolted right to the right to the linkage for now. Cool. All right. So it's a cool little easy section at the beginning. Some drops. A little rut that's awkwardly placed. Right, so the front locker doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, we put in the Z Automotive locker wiring with the uh, Spicer 44. And every time I try to lock the front, it says front axle locker canceled. So obviously it doesn't like the Z Automotive stuff and I don't, I don't know why <laughs> it's doing that, damn it. This is why we do shakedown runs on easy trails. Uh, so we know if stuff like that doesn't work, we're not on a hard trail finding out that we got no front locker. Bill, are you moving? I think that ZJ wants us to move, keep going if you're not going. No, I'm right behind you. Okay, cool. I thought I heard like a horn honk or something. Yeah, it's not me, I don't have the word. 
Oh, I see you now. I didn't see you in my rear view. Yeah, go ahead, just pull over wherever you can. Hey, Bill, Bill was saying he wants to pull over for these guys. Um, if you can pull over, go right ahead. There's no like amazing spots to pull over, but if you find something, right there yeah do it yeah we usually park over there if we camp here like totally rad spot So did you try the front case low range? Front case low range? Yeah. Um, oh, and the other one? And like high? Uh-uh. Okay. That's one of the things we got to test out next on the way out. Make sure that all works. Oh. So put, put like, basically put the rear case in high, put the front in low. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Make, you got to make sure all your combos work. Okay. I, was one, one I still have to do the front. You put them both into high. Put both of them in high. And yes. this one in low. Yeah, and put that one in low. Okay. So do that. Do that next. Make sure it all functions. Make sure everything works. Make, you know. Yeah, so it sounds like probably need a new front locker, even though it is brand new. We were, uh, you know, remembering that when they were trying to, inst uh, when they installed the front end, it kept blowing fuses. Um, so we probably need to get a new locker in this, which is too bad because we just got a new locker in this with the new front axle. So hopefully get that taken care of ASAP. <laughs> So 
so you did you did too low on the rear case too low on the front case four four low front case only rear case high mm -hmm. and then double low today yeah and your stuff on the shakedown run worked all fine right yeah and then i went um too low didn't go too double low but the too low i don't think high. i would do too double low no. so the shakedown for his rig went good my front locker is not working we think the locker's fried even though it's brand new Huge bummer. Trying to do front and rear service axle locker system. It won't won't lock it. Rear axle unlocked. So the, doesn't like the front. It'll do the rear. It'll lock the rear, but it won't lock the front. So it was a shakedown run for my my Wrangler with the new front axle that we got installed in from Parts Mike um, Spicer ED44. We hadn't ran it yet with the locker and it has a, a two wire locker and it, the factory's four wire so we have like the z automotive adapter um they called me when they were installing it and said it kept blowing fuses at the time i was like okay it's just something with the, the lock who knows what so they said yeah just just order the z automotive and plug it in well it doesn't work at all and we realized it was probably blowing fuses because the locker was shorting out and so uh you know, after it wouldn't, it just kept saying axle axle lock canceled, uh, service four wheel drive system, service locker, or something like that. It, like, it was giving me multiple codes. Um, I'm just gonna call Parts Mike on Monday. That was the first part of the uh, shakedown run is just making sure that my my front locker works. It does not work. Uh, second part of the shakedown run was this is my buddy Bill's rig, where we just put in a dual transfer case setup, a 231 300 doubler. Does that thing drive on the freeway and not? throw a drive shaft have drive line vibes uh does it explode does it make noise does it start making grinding noises so that was the other part and then the second the third part was can he put his rig in double low for an extended period of time can he put it in single low front case single low rear case uh high range rear case too high too low like go through all the gears and wheel around for quite a while stay in gear make sure everything works we wanted to go somewhere super easy like not a difficult like trail so we did pierce ohv so yeah thanks for following along this week if you can please like subscribe comment below um i would say overall the shakedown run served its purpose it was a good day no major complaints other than i gotta fix the front locker probably need a new front locker not the end of the world what's up we got greg's jk here what's up man what's your what's your jk build like what you got going on here uh, actually, it was built by Radius. Oh, it was? Yeah, so Jeff and Jack built it uh, 2017. In fact, the first time we went out, right after it was built, my brother and I went just to check articulation at Hollister. It was fine. Learned it. Next day, we went to the Rubicon. So the first time I ever wheeled was the Rubicon. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a pretty sweet build. Looks like they're trussed. Hydro Assist, 37s. It's cool. If you want, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, wow, you got some. For you. Yeah. How, do you, what would, how would you, I, I have the thing to, I take the, uh, the little mounts. The, yeah, I don't have the mount. All right, trying to do front and rear service axle locker system. It won't.
won't, it won't lock it. Rear axle unlocked. So, it doesn't like the front. It'll do the rear, it'll lock the rear, but it won't lock the front. Mm -hmm.